And we round out the trading week with three new record closes. The Dow finished up 165 points to close at 23,328. The Nasdaq up about 24 points to finish at 6629. And the S&P 500 was up 13 points to end at 2575. All record closes. Market analysis tonight. Chris Hagen is with Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mike. So records across the board to end the week. What was motivating investors on this Friday? Right. So as you mentioned, the Senate got a little bit closer to achieving some tax reform. That was applauded by investors. And then, of course, uh, earnings continue, and they've been pretty good. So if you look at FactSet, they said that so far, out of the companies that have reported earnings this, this quarter, about three-quarters of them have actually beaten earnings expectations. But as you also mentioned, GE was not one of them. All right. We reported on GE a couple of minutes ago. What's your take on where GE is right now under John Flannery? And how did investors react to the news of where they are right now and the news of those layoffs to come? You know, we've been talking about this for a couple of days, so there's a lot to cover there. But, um, you know, John Flannery has his work cut out for him. Jeff Immelt, uh, you know, left the place in kind of a mess, right? Uh, accusations are that he bought um, you know, uh, oil and energy infrastructure at a high and then sold financials at a low, never paid a ton of attention to an unfunded uh, pension plan that's got about a two, $25 billion in debt. So there's a lot to fix there along with a corporate culture. Um, how did investors react? Well, you know, it's surprising. You know, pre-market, the stock was down about 8%, but actually finished positive on the day. So there's a lot of people out there thinking that there's maybe a, a good turnaround story in sight. And maybe a time to buy. PayPal had a good day today and a very strong quarter. What did you see there? Right, so up 5% on the day, but over the last 12 months, actually up over 70%, right? So where have they really benefited? Because, of you know, of course, it's the online shopping, right? They're taking a percentage of that there. But also with Venmo, um, which is getting more and more popular, they see a huge growth trajectory with Venmo, not only just from person to person, but also from person to business. Mm, Venmo is an interesting app. I use it myself. Procter & Gamble did not fare as well as PayPal, down on the day nearly 4%. Why? What happened there? Right, so maybe people aren't buying as many pampers or toilet paper or paper towels, but uh, stock was off nearly 4% today. Um, they just saw it kind of a slowdown across the board. Where they did see a pickup was in emerging markets, but um, nothing really too particular that they saw at this point. Mm. All right. Uh, what is up for next week, Chris, as we look ahead? Right. So again, we're going to have a lot more earnings coming through. Um, we've got our first look at uh, third quarter GDP. We've got some durable sales. Um, and then also we're going to take a look at new home sales all next week. We'll look for all of that next week. Chris, you have a great weekend. Same to you, Mike. Thank you. Chris Hagen's with Advisor Investments in New Newton, Massachusetts.